Good afternoon everybody, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here. How are you all today? It's uh, Thursday today, uh, February 18th, I think. Um, oh, now you got me wondering. Is it the 18th? Yes, it is. It's the 18th. Um, all day, in fact. <laughs> Hope you're all doing really well. Um, what have I done today so far? Ah, I wasn't going to go thrifting, but I did go thrifting. Just to a couple of my local spots and uh, nah, didn't find, I have not found a roots bag yet. Uh, found a couple of fossil. Whatever is out there is in really rough shape. So I was just kind of thinking about it a little bit. So either, I feel, my opinions only, people are either keeping their stuff because they're going to have a yard sale. And because let's face it. What do, if you are your, if you are a yard sale person, you're going to have the yard sale before you donate. You're going to try and make a few bucks before you donate. Um, or people are selling their stuff online themselves. I mean, when, before the stores opened up this week, I mean, you know, I've shared it with you. I was on Marketplace. I mean, people have bags for five, ten dollars. I know I had bags on Kijiji for five, ten dollars. I still do. So, it may be that people are looking to make some money uh, because of the climate, financial climate we're in, or I don't know, maybe I'm just hitting stores at the wrong time, but every time I drove past Valley Village, there was multiple cars dropping stuff off. And some of the brand name stuff that I am finding is in really rough shape. So, um, and I, I don't mind doing a little bit of rehab, but I'm not gonna, not for full dollar. I mean, there was a really nice, uh, little fossil side bag today. And I mean, the, the strap was coming apart. They wanted $17 for it. It's like, no, I'm not. But yet I hear, I see the prices that Miss Philly pays in Winnipeg and, um, yeah, I wouldn't be paying those prices. I'd probably be out of business by now. So, <laughs> so that uh, that kind of was the start of my day. And I was pulling out of the parking lot, and I was heading home, and I was like, Salvation Army is just down the street. So, whoo, down to Salvation Army, and there was absolutely nothing there. And then you get the person at the checkout who's bought 15 million pieces of glassware in China, and every piece has to be wrapped, and you're there for half an hour. No, thank you. Um, I did have a little t little bag, but I wasn't going to wait. And there was somebody in front of me as well, so I thought, screw that. So I left, and I came home. And then I had to create my list of jobs to do today, because I'm really not uh, doing much of the chore-like things around this place. So... I, where's my little notebook? So this is my little notebook and it is literally where I write my things. So, so far I've cleaned the washroom. <laughs> Check. The one above that is video. So I'm talking to you. So when I'm done, I'll be able to check that off. This really helps me. If I write it down, there's a very, very good chance that it'll get done. Unless, you know, somebody wonderful calls me and gives me some fantastic place to go. Which isn't happening these days anyway. So, bags. Um, what, I've, what I'm doing today is I've gone into my Etsy store and I found three bags that I have yet to do a video for. So, these bags are already listed. Um, if you check my store regularly, then you've probably already seen them. But... You know what? I have a lot of feedback from the people who buy my bags that they do find the videos helpful. Uh, maybe not all the stories about my day and blah de blah de blah, but you never know. Maybe uh, one of the 50s and fabulous or something. Over 2 million subscribers that lady has. What the hell? And she does fitness videos and style videos, makeup videos, all. None of the things, I mean, fitness for sure, but. And I did some this morning. I had to really talk myself into it. But I uh, put my music on and got my stepper out. 
and I created a playlist for my workouts. So some of the music that I put on the playlist isn't fast enough. So I deleted it, not knowing that what I was not only deleting it from my workout playlist, but I was deleting it in its entirety. So now I'm pissed because I don't know what music I've deleted and what music... <sighs> yeah, so I wasn't very happy with that. So yeah, I jumped around a little bit this morning and um, still have to try out my uh, red shoes that I glued. Maybe I'll do that tonight. But anyway, this 50s and Fabulous Lady, yeah, over 2 million subscribers. Really? I, I think I've said it in a couple of my videos. We need more mature women doing this stuff my story and I'm sticking to it my hair's driving me nuts I cut it yesterday I cut the bangs or the fringe or whatever you call it wherever you are but oh it feels weird I don't know if it's just the uh static and I had this sweater on and I look like I had two freaking melons and I mean yeah there's no way so <laughs> I put this over top. Oh, and before I forget, oh my God, I'm all over the place. My customer, Lynn, who's not a customer, she's a friend, um, in St. Catharines, her daughter, Lisa, lives in England. And apparently, she's looking for a croc clutch, or a, a snakeskin clutch, sorry, which I have a few... I wish clutches were more in style. We watched, what movie was it we watched on the weekend? Um, can't remember. Clutches all over it. Like every movie, the, they're, wear, they're using clutches. Like why are we not using clutches? I, I guess it's a pain in the ass because you're not hands free or whatever. But they're so cute. I mean, look at this one. Speaking of clutches, as I digress, which you know I always do. I mean, look, this is like pony cowhide. This is an anthropology uh, brand. But look at it. It's so... This is brand new. It's still got the paper and everything inside. What's it called? Leaf... Leaf Stottier or something. I don't know if you can see that. But it's so beautiful. And you can either wear it like that or tuck it in. Big zipper on the back. They're just not, nobody uses them. Anyway, I just happen to have that on my table. So let's get to the bags for today. So shout out to Lisa in England. I said I would shout you out. She's binge watching me, apparently. <laughs> I can't imagine what that's like. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, bags today. Um, a little bit of a mi mishmash. Nothing, I shouldn't say this, nothing too exciting. Because, I mean, what's exciting to me and what's exciting to you are two different things. Um, first one is a clutch or shoulder. So, at this moment, it's a clutch. Speaking of clutches. And it's... Super cute, simple. It The brand is called Red Shoe. Don't know anything about it. Really nice leather. It's all leather inside. Slip pocket and zipper pocket. So I'm going to take a leap and say that it's a really good quality brand because I don't... I've got maybe three purses that have a leather interior and one of them I sold a few weeks ago. So there's red shoe and the strap on like it unhooks and it's got a buckle. So you would just, and I'm even wondering if you I wonder if you could even use this. I mean, it would be kind of a big fanny pack, but you could put it around or, you could sling it. It'll go crossbody. It's a higher sitting crossbody, but it'll go. And is there room for another hole? Yeah, there is a room for another hole. So I might put another hole in it using my handy dandy hole maker. There is a little bit of damage on the strap. 
nothing that has broken the stitches, but it looks like maybe somebody's pooch maybe got to it. The underside is a little, but it's it's not, you know, it's it, it's not uh, make, rendering it, uh, you know, unsafe to carry or anything. I didn't realize oh, that interior leather is so soft. And whoever owned this wore perfume because it smells lovely. <laughs> so it's a very slim line bag, but in excellent condition with the exception of that one little spot on the uh, strap. So there we go. That is bag number one, red shoe. Never heard of it before. Bag number two is Cornell. Now, I don't know if Cornell is a Canadian brand. I have... I, I'm I'm almost positive that I've tried to find out more about this brand because they're everywhere. Some of it's leather, some of it is not. This is leather, but some of their harder side, like their harder shell bags are not leather, they're plastic. Now the interesting thing about this bag is it's made in Hungary. Creations Cornell, and it's that 60s, 70s, um, I would say this is a 70s bag. Maybe six. You know what? I think maybe 60s actually. That interior is just such a telltale. It's navy blue. It's not black. So it has a slip pocket compartment, divider, and another compartment. And it's just a uh, top handle. You could, yeah, you could get it on your shoulder. And that's a nice, simple little bag. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy, but definitely vintage looking. So, um, you know, again, if you've got some, you know, a modern coat or something and you just want a simple vintage look, there you go. And last but not least, I love this little bag. It's um, Bagatique Collections haven't really been able to find anything out about it. It's the color, you know me, and this oxblood mahogany color. What does it say on this little guy? Genuine leather. It's It just says like mode Italy, which is kind of like an Italian style. So there's yours. It's got three, one, two, three compartments, a little zipper compartment. It is, um, what's it say on there? Leather goods. It just says leather goods on the little grommets here. It's quite structured. Oh, got the strap caught. Dummy, dummy. It is, it's, it's structured in a way, oh, come on. <laughs> I was gonna say I couldn't find the hole and then all kinds of things went through my head. That's <laughs> what she said. Anyway, that's bad, isn't it? I shouldn't do that. So it's a nice strap. There is room for extra hole and I am gonna put an extra hole in that because this will be a higher sitting crossbody and I can probably give it an extra an extra inch and in my head I'm going who can't use an extra inch oh that's so bad I apologize to anybody who's offended by my risque sense of humor which you're just gonna have to deal with it because that's that's me and I haven't really I've been very good in the last six months but uh Maybe the uh, the gate has been opened. And this, look at the f static. Oh my goodness me. So that is bag number three. It's, it's a really cute, cute little bag. Chunky sweater, pair of jeans, pair of Ugg boots. So here's a little story from yesterday. So I was driving to um, one of my thrift stops and uh, there was an accident. There wasn't an accident. I think a car had uh, broken down or something. 
So there was quite a backlog on the link here in Hamilton, which is kind of a bypass that takes you around the city to get up the mountain, up the hill, which I showed you in my uh, stairs video, which I have not done in two weeks, by the way. Hopefully next week. Um, and the DJ said uh, there's a fashion item that is coming back in style. You know, two songs will let you know what it is. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. And then the story came on and apparently Uggs are making a huge comeback because people have been working from home and I guess I wouldn't walk around with a pair of Ugg boots. I, I don't like Ugg boots. I think they are so ugly, but they have quite the cult following. So apparently they're coming back. So I go to Salvation Army and I literally picked up this one 99 cent little roots coin purse and i'm waiting in line to buy my 99 cent coin purse and along the wall where we're lined up are the shoes so i look over and what do i see a pair of ugg boots now these aren't just where are they these aren't just any ugg boots i don't know anything about ugg boots but these are like heavy duty, I mean, this is just beautiful. They're, uh, what did I pay for them? $14.99. So they are, there's a little bit of wear on one side of, uh, actually it's looking a lot worse on the camera than it is. But, I mean, there's, there's no wear here. So this kind of, it's a little puzzling. And the toe, you know, I'm going to have to do a little bit of rehab on these guys. And there's your Ugg and the zip up the back. So I see these boots and I thought, I'm going to pick them up. They're actually size 8, so they would fit me if I absolutely wanted to wear them. But um, they need a little bit of a rehab as well. So, so yeah, that's... Uh, I got so much shit in here right now. And, and that's that. So that's my three bags for you for today. Um, I shout out to Lisa, which I've forgotten for the last two days. And who else? Anybody else I want to shout out to? No, I don't think so. Have a great rest of the day. Tomorrow is Friday. We're supposed to get more snow tonight. I don't know if we're going to get it uh, between 5 and 10. And then Toronto is going to get hammered this time. Beginning of the week, it was us that got hammered and the GTA didn't get much of anything. So uh, they're supposed to get between 10 and 20 and we're supposed to get between 5 and 10. So um, who knows if I've got to dig out my driveway again. It's getting to the point where I've got nowhere to put any more snow. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, hope you're all having a fantastic day and uh, make a list. Make a list of five things that you need to get done and not all of them need to be yucky things. I put my video on my list and you know I love talking to you guys. So make a list and uh, tell me about it. Bye.